Okay, taking the limit as h approaches 0 for this rational function. So to begin these, I always try to start out and replace each one of the uh, variables with whatever we're approaching. In this case, we're approaching 0. So I'm going to start out and simply replace each one of the h's with zeros. Do a little bit of reducing down, and I think we're going to get negative 6 squared minus 36 over 0 or 36 minus 36 over 0 works out to be 0 over 0, which is kind of the indeterminate case. All right, what that does tell us, though, is there's a good chance we can do a little bit of factoring and reduce this down further and find an actual limit. Before we do so on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and distribute. I'm going to think of this as the limit as h approaches 0 and two copies of negative 6 plus h multiplied together. I'm going to expand this out first and then think about factoring or reducing down. So as I do this, I'm going to bring my limit as h approaches 0 along from step to step, going first, outer, and or last. Negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36, plus the outer, negative 6h, inner, negative 6h, and last, h times h makes h squared. Bring along my minus 36, and we still have h here. All right, we should be able to reduce a little bit for what we have in our numerator. So I'll bring the limit along again. The limit as h approaches 0. We do have some like terms. We have 36 minus 36 that can combine together. We have negative 6h minus 6 more h's makes negative 12 h's. Bring along the plus h squared, and we still have that h in the denominator. Okay, from here, what I'm going to do to further reduce down is I'm going to bring the limit along for right now. I'm going to factor out an h is a common factor in our numerator. So what that's going to leave us is negative 12 plus 1h remains inside that set of parentheses so that if we redistributed the h from the outside, we get those same two terms back in the numerator. All right, from here, we have an h multiplied by the entire numerator and an h multiplied by the entire denominator. So we can put this into lowest terms by eliminating those h's, leaving us with the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 12 plus h. And from here, we don't have any h's in the denominator that we're worried about replacing and getting dividing by 0. So to finish this up, we're going to replace the remaining h with a 0. And overall, our limit is going to equal negative 12. I right, hope this helps out as you're working on limits um, as you're approaching zero. Really not that bad. It takes a little bit of algebra skills, but you got this.